globe trotting on the taxpayer's dime. Maryland's Chief Judge Mary Ellen Barbera and the state's top court administrator, Pamela Harris, jetting off together to India and China. Harris also visiting The Hague in the Netherlands. The combined visits costing taxpayers more than $26,000. There's a lot of red flags raised here. There's a, a very thin line between an educational and learning opportunity that can bring back knowledge to the court and what is more a junket. Through a spokesman, both Judge Barbera and Court Administrator Harris declined comment. The India itinerary included opportunities to go on an historic cultural tour in Chennai, sightseeing in Chennai, and Mahabulapuram. It also included a seminar comparing perspectives on India and the U.S. and one on legal systems. To show that this was truly an educational opportunity, it's helpful for the taxpayers to see what was the agenda, a summary of what was learned, a short report. The trip to China included visits to the Great Wall, Tiananmen Square, and the Forbidden City. The agenda scheduled a meeting with the People's Congress, the Women Judges Association, and the China University of Political Science and Law. The Maryland Judiciary controls its own budget with no direct oversight. A year ago this month, the state court administrator sought permission to go to The Hague, approved the same day by Judge Barbera. The 11th Annual International Association for Court Administration Conference was held at the World Trade Center in The Hague. The invitation says the conference offers the unique opportunity to learn about the different European legal systems and their respective court management approaches. If they're going to have such extreme oversight over their own budget, certainly they need to back it up with transparency and procedures so that the taxpayers have the ultimate accountability. According to a spokesman with the Maryland Judiciary, Neither the chief judge nor the top court administrator is required to write reports, brief staff, or share information gleaned from these overseas trips. And they haven't. In Annapolis, David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.